Uh, and now this is the Xbox showcase, which I was like looking through on Twitter because I was on a plane while I was going on and couldn't yeah. watch the video. So I don't know much of what happened. Okay. Uh, so this is from Microsoft's actual okay. blog post of it. Uh, upcoming titles from Activision, Bethesda, Blizzard, and Xbox Game Studios. Um, Art of Mythology Retold. Uh, sure. I don't know mm -hmm. why they're starting with that one or why they're starting with Avowed getting a new trailer. Um, sure, yeah, so whatever. Avowed is Obsidian. Okay. Yes. People are very interested yes, in this. Yes, I know that. Um, but the sh they started the showcase with Black Ops 6, uh, which I think everybody wants to see. Like, yeah. Most people would be interested in. Um, yeah, it looks like Call of Duty game. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what more you can say about it that hasn't been said already. It's slowly getting more and more modern. It's in 1991. I remember that year. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I don't know how interested I'm going to be in the single player. I still like to play uh, Warzone, and this will have Warzone integration, I'm sure. Yep. Um, I might be interested in the single player, but uh, I, 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 I don't know. If it, it's probably just going to be Call of Duty. Yeah. I would maybe be interested in single player if the game wasn't 300 gigs and required an internet connection. Yeah, now, so it's not in the keep, but like it has come out and it was revealed that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 will be 300 gigs 309, on your nine, 309 gigs in on your hard drive, and not only that, it will require a constant internet connection through all game modes for quote unquote texture loading. So a lot we could talk about there. Yeah. So. Uh, I tweeted about this, and apparently the the defense is that that is the uh, the Xbox storefront uh, 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 the amount of storage that the Xbox storefront says that you need for the Call of Duty HQ app that is required to like when you get a digital version of Call of Duty now you don't get Call of Duty Black Ops 6 you get Call of Duty HQ yes. and then from there you download Call of Duty Black Ops 6 so the Xbox storefront page is telling you that Call of Duty HQ is 309 gigabytes right so people are like that's probably including Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and that's probably true but I'll say that when Modern Warfare 3 came out it required that you downloaded all of Modern Warfare 2 yeah. in order to play Modern Warfare mm -hmm. 3. Even if you didn't own Modern Warfare 2, it would still download all of the assets of Modern Warfare 2 and lock you from playing Modern yeah. Warfare 2 because you don't own it. So it is possible that at launch, this will require you to download Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So according to the official Call of Duty Updates Twitter account, uh, the estimated file size currently uh, displayed on the Black Ops 6 pre-order pages does not represent the download size or disk footprint for Black Ops 6. The sizes as shown include the full installation of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and all relevant content packs, including all localized languages combined, with uh, combined, which is not representative of a, typ of a typical player uh, install experience. Players will be able to download Black Ops 6 at launch, without downloading any other Call of Duty titles or all of the language packs. The actual estimation of the Black Ops 6 file size will be will be available closer to launch. Oh, so they don't have one yet. Correct. According to them. Now, I should, you know, anecdotally, from my, my most recent Call of Duty experience was actually with Black Ops Cold War. And that game, on its own, was 200 gigs. Just that one game. And there's an option because I I just like took a month between playing it, and there's an option in it like, hey, you haven't played in a while. This is taking up a lot of space. Do you want to clear some space? And I hit yes. And the thing that it clears first from the storage space is the single player because they just assume you're <laughs> yeah. playing the multiplayer, and the single player only takes off about like 50 gigs. So the rest of the fucking game is still 150 yeah. gigs. Yeah. I believe them that it's not going to be 309 gigs, but I don't believe them that it will be small. Like, yeah. like it, it will be over 100 gigs. It might be close to 200 gigs. Yeah. Uh, especially because this is the next gen Call of Duty. It's freaking high resolution and everything. Now, the other controversy is that it has, uh, it streams the textures. Yeah. 
that's something that Modern Warfare 3 single player did. It had it had an option to stream the textures. And I heard that it actually did a pretty decent job of that. Okay. And that is a way for them to reduce the uh the the, the loading times and the file size of the game. <laughs> so if the fucking file size is big anyway, and it requires an internet connection for you to download these textures, that is dumb. This is like hands down the most poorly optimized AAA game. Yeah. Like that I have it's ever bad. seen. Like it's bad. How is how do you let this is a Call of Duty game? Yeah, they look pretty, but like there's not a lot going on under the hood. Like they're they're grossly linear experiences. The multiplayer maps, yeah, they're you know pretty expansive, but they're not that different year uh, year on year. So there's no reasonable excuse for it to be more than a hundred. I'll give you a hundred gigs. There's no reason for it to be more than that, other than poor optimization and poor yeah. planning. So I'd imagine that Modern Warfare Three was a test for those uh, streaming textures. Yeah. Uh, I'm. It seems like the test was positive and that it'll work. Hopefully, that is a way to get the file size down a lot. Um, I will say, Call of Duty has been poorly optimized recently. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's poorly optimized in the way that all the file sizes are really big, but it's also been poorly optimized where the game crashes all the time and it runs poorly on different hardwares. Yeah. I will say it has gotten a lot better where it runs good on different types of hardware now. Uh, but uh, yeah, the file size is still insane. Uh, I'm trying to look up. I'm just curious because a thought a, a thought crossed my mind that maybe the file size is this bad because they've you know, always had bad files. Be, well, because the games have to come out every year on the dot, regardless of what notable idiot Bobby Kotick says. They, they don't have, have come, time to to optimize. Well, that's it. that's what I want to know. I'm trying to look up what the Madden file size <laughs> is because Madden also comes out every year on time yeah regardless of whether or not it's finished but, but like but that's like a copy paste yeah then call of duty isn't <laughs> like at this point like madden can't be any more than 100 gigs what am, what, am, what am i looking for here why don't they just list the fucking gigs on the page like on the website FIFA normally? is definitely a copy paste yeah or uh fi approximate file size 54 gigs for madden honestly a lot more than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> But That's like, honestly pretty a lot of things. Thi but, but think about it though. Like Madden, you have you know all these football plays and mechanics. You have like all the teams and all the different individual players. You have all the stadiums. You have all the the random bullshit that Madden games usually have. Yeah, but think about the different stadiums versus different whole ass entire environments. You know, like a stadium is a stadium is a stadium. Right, but we're, <laughs> but like think about it. Like Madden twenty twenty four. Like they push realism very hard, mm -hmm. so they try to make all the stadiums look like they actually do in real life. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of like detail and like processing that has to go into doing that. But they're still able to make a 54 gigs. Call of Duty is literally four times the size of this. Yeah. Yeah. For a very similar gameplay length, I'd imagine most of it is environments and just not deleting old shit that doesn't that you don't need yeah. anymore. The amount that it requires out of you is pretty insane. Yeah. And every time there's an update now, it requires me to recompile all of the shaders because that's that's a PC problem. That yeah. doesn't happen on console, I don't think. Uh, the light, uh, well, it's not FIFA anymore. FC24 is 60, 64 gigs. That's honestly more than I thought. Yeah. And that's like, that has, you know, that's international. That has more teams and stadiums to render. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So I, I would still expect this to be pretty big. But, yeah. uh, they're saying it'll be less than 309 gigabytes. I'm going to guess 200. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, other than that... And I'm going to want Warzone, too. Yeah, so. but like Warzone's free. You can get that on your own. On its own. Yeah, it's free, but it's... My, my hard drive space isn't yeah. free. <laughs> and like... Warzone's probably going to require me to still have Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 downloaded. So yeah. I'm going to have fucking four Call of Duty games on my hard drive. That's insane. You might have to actually... I don't have a big SSD in my computer. Yeah. Well, now you might have to get one. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to get another one. And I don't know. I don't even know if I have room on my motherboard.